Hey, good morning. Uh, I just wanted to post a little quick little video of uh, if anyone else is like needing help with this. Um, I was start doing some research on the FS developer form and I couldn't seem to find the answer. Um, but this is this is in regards to slicing a plane in 3ds max every hundred meters. See, this, my problem was when I used the ground polygon wizard, it was making these triangles in the scenery. Um, I know that this is probably a known fix, but I couldn't find any video in the form on how to do it in 3ds max. So essentially, what this is is when you load up your model and you do your ground polygon wizard um, you normally click slice and either you ungroup them or or whatever and then convert um, but it was still making these triangles and I couldn't explain it so I want to go ahead and show you how I do that um, now this is a this is a big plane this is the size of my uh, actual ground poly and I'm making a shadow um, instead of making polygons on the runways and stuff for shadows and grunge marks I just make one huge master shadow so this is what this is it's about a 4,000 meter plane so I just wanted to go ahead and just show you how I do that so um, what you do is you make sure that your uh, edible poly which is what I normally work with you want to go ahead and select polygon so when you go and select polygon, click on it, and this will highlight everything. And then now, you want to go down to slice plane. And then now this orange or yellowish box goes around it. So now what I do is I want to go to the front. I want to click here on select rotate. And I want to go ahead and turn this to about 90 degrees. Now I'm old school, so I like to eyeball it. And it takes a minute for me to get it. There we go. 90 degrees, and it would show right there. Now I want to go ahead and go back to the front, or the top view, as I should say. And I want to go ahead and zero this on my zero degree x axis, which is here. Now the reason my ground poly is like this is because my my runway kind of goes like this, and my reference point is right in the middle. Um, okay, so now we're on zero degrees. Now what you want to go go on the right side here, and you want to go to slice. And then now you want to go here. At 100 degrees, 100 meters, sorry. Slice. 200. Slice. Now you notice how they have these slices in them. The little lines. That's what the ground polygon wizard is doing. But sometimes it makes these triangles where it has to. The plane is so big that it has to to uh, do all of these slices at once, and I guess it just trips it up. So. So I'll come back after I'm done slicing this all, and I will show you. All right, so I just finished slicing my plane. As you can see, now it's sliced every 100 meters, so you're alleviating the ground polygon wizard from doing that for you. And now it's going to follow the curvature of the uh, Earth and prepare it in FSX. So just a couple of things. You just want to make sure that you actually have a, a GUID. A friendly name and also a GUID idea assigned to it and uh, go ahead and click export make sure it's a .x file and export and now you're good to go so then now when you open up your model converter X ground polygon wizard click here go to your image and then now if you look at the wireframe, you'll see if you can if you can see it, you'll see that it's sliced. So now when you go here, you can actually uncheck this. So we'll have to do it. And I normally just uncheck this as well. 
go to prepared and then I just hit type in your altitude and then go ahead and hit convert now I will tell you this uh, some people do have different um, outcomes when you have to sit here and and, and see what you want to do do you want to uncheck this sometimes some people go here I don't I generally once I slice in 3ds max I generally just un uncheck this click optimize and I go ahead and convert it and it's good to go now just please make sure that you guys um, do everything in 3ds max if you can especially with your um, material IDs um, meaning uh, make sure you know Z right no shadow and set your Z bias level so and you can also do that inside um, model converter X so all right I hope you guys hope this helps you guys out